Welcome back everyone, I'm Melody from Bagel Leg and Let's Dig It. The last video, I just harvested it, literally it's right there in the wheelbarrow, everything that was in this side of the bed and decided I wanted to turn the camera back on to show you what I do to get the, the bed prepped for new crops. So I tried to pick out most of the weeds. I did leave some roots um, like stems down in here that would suggest it. I kind of already knew that. It was suggested by um, the subscriber. Awesome. Thank you so much. But these are going to be no till beds, obviously. I just usually take something like this, give this a good little good eye go through and pick out any of these roots. See this? So that is kind of what I do next. I gather up all the loose roots, get this bed ready and prepped for the next crop to go in. If you hear a hose running, that would be the neighbor next door. He is, um, I don't know, watering, spraying, something. So just go through and start gathering up all your roots. You can put these roots in your compost. Um, I don't see anything while you plant. Sometimes I'll just take my fingers. So when I have all the roots out of this bed, I will bring you back to show you the process and how I get ready to amend this bed to use it for the next crop. Okay, that is what it looks like. I got most of the roots out. Let me put you in a steady spot again. I take my shirt off, it's starting to get hot. And now I'm going to go in with... This uh, organic garden tone for urban vegetable food. And I'm not going to go real light. This breaks down over time. Just a granular, organic, organic. How do you like that? Um, geez, my allergies again. I haven't had allergies my whole life. And now I'm assuming that's what this is. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to give it a little bit more up there. And then, I'm going to give it a really good watering in. So this is organic garden tone. This is like a 27 pound bag. I've been using this since gardening season started. I heavily coated that. Now what you could do is mix it in. Let me rotate my bowl. Trying to learn to keep gloves on because it destroys my fingernails, but is what it is and I usually just will go like this and if I see any weeds or another root I'll just pull it out give it a little zhush through you don't want it just to lay on the surface it just gives you an idea to see if you missed any roots to go in. Just like 
so. And then what I'm going to do is give this a really good watering. And I will not bore you to death, and I'll bring you back as soon as I start watering it in. Okay, I almost forgot. I also use the organic blood meal. I'm not going to do a lot, lot, but it's for lush growth and deep greening. Provides nitrogen for vegetables, etc., etc. I'm not going to go hog wild crazy on it, but I am going to give it a little nitrogen back. I'm just going to sprinkle it. Not as heavily as I did the other one, just a little bit. lacking something from the last um, crop you just took out. A little bit. Good. So that is the organic blood meal right there. And now I'm not sure this is close. I don't want to lose any. And now I'm going to water it in. Pretty heavily. If you give it a good soaking, you won't have to water it as much. Soaks down pretty quick. Looks like it's soaking down really, really quick. You can give it another douse of water, which as you can see, that went down pretty quickly. This might be strange to some people. You can use the poker stick. I like to go like this. Let's see holes. Go down. You can see how dry it is coming up. holes around it and then rewater it again. Good it's like a lot of water, but it needs to go all the way down with the nutrients. good and that is what I do to prep the bed after that soaks in the next thing I will do is add some black cow and then I'll plant straight in it so I hope that was helpful for you love yous leave me a comment like this video and I will see you on the night on the next one. Oh, as the cabbage moth goes flying by at least it's not going near my cabbages but that's how I prep a bed after a big harvest right there Wheelbarrow full of bib lettuce, um, butter crunch, romaine, pak choy, um, the tender greens, 
What else was in there? I said pak choy. Yeah, well anyway, it's a full wheelbarrow. And that's how fast I get a bed situated and cleaned out to be ready to be planted in. So I'm focusing on this half. I will do that half when I'm done. So again, I am Melody from Bake a Leg and Let's Dig It. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it, leave me a comment, give it a thumbs up. Love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.